Hi there. When I first began making instructional videos for my art classroom as a way of creating a blended instruction for my one-to-one -one technology school, I was a fish out of water. I had no idea where to even begin. So I opened up iMovie and I just started bumbling around until I eventually figured it all out. Since then, I've discovered that Apple has a nice iMovie help page that I can access anytime I want to and find the answer to almost all my questions. But in that bumbling around and trying to figure it out, I discovered that I really enjoy making movies and it's really not that hard. And I'm no longer as slow at it as I used to be. So I've created a short video that hopefully will give you the very basics, nothing fancy to start with, uh, instructions on how you can make a video. Now, I'm going to begin knowing and thinking that you have all of your video clips ready. You can make video clips on your phone or on an iPad or even on a point and shoot camera that has a video feature. You just need to make those videos and save them somewhere. I usually save mine to my desktop so I know exactly where they are. And from there, the fun begins. So take a, take a look and I'll show you the very basics of how to put together an instructional video for your classroom. When I open up iMovie, I get this screen where it stores all of my previous projects and I want to click this plus button because that means I'm making a new movie. And then I always select no theme. It's just more work. I'm going to name my new project if I can spell it correctly, gluing. And here's where I am going to download my files that I have created. I'm going to find them on the desktop because that's where I put them. And I rename my clips so that they're sort of all together so I can find them easier, especially when they are the the movie files that's just a whole bunch of numbers that's meaningless to me. So I had five files that I needed for this one and I'm going to just click import and in this area right here I can see all my clips have come in. Now it is time for me to start putting this video together. To add my clips to my video board down here I'm going to start with the first clip that I want. I double click it and then I click on the plus sign and that will add the entire clip to my movie. Now I like to use a title. I would like the kids to see a title when they play this video and so when I click title I have several options that I can choose from. I think that I will just click this one. I click it and I drag it into where it needs to be, which is before my first clip. And then over here, as I click these words, they become editable. And I can title this whatever I want it to be. and now I'm ready to edit my first clip. I always begin my video with about two seconds of empty, empty space so that I can make sure that I have enough to trim or extend. I've learned that the hard way. So I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to click on here and I press the space bar to get a little preview. Hello boys and girls. Let's talk for a moment about gluing. And then it, the volume looks good so I don't have to change anything there. And I'm going to edit a little bit off of the end because I always leave a couple of seconds of empty space at the end just to make sure that I have uh, enough room for trimming and transitioning to the next clip. Every time. I click the uh, space bar to stop and then I'm just going to drag the end of that clip over to where I stopped and I'm ready to add the next clip. Now I like to have a transition 
in between my clips. So when I click Transitions, I have a few choices. And I can get a little preview by just dragging over each one of those little icons to see what the effect will be. I usually just use Fade to Black. I just click it and drag it to where it needs to be. And then I'm ready. I'm going to go back to My Media. That's where my clips are and I'm gonna find the next clip. I can tell that I've already used this one because of that orange line that's on there, and that shows me that I need to go to the next one. Double click, plus sign, and there it is. I'm just ready to edit off the front end. I can tell where my voice starts by looking at this little um, noise bar down here, the little light blue, and so I know that I can just automatically bring that over a little bit, start back here, Together to preview. correctly and neatly every time. Okay, sounds good. But I can tell that the volume of this clip is a little lower than this clip. Uh, the next thing I'm going to need to do is turn this up. I need to select this clip, that means that I click on it and it's surrounded by this yellow line, and up here are my volume controls, this little speaker. I click on that and I can turn it up manually like this. And something else I like to do is come over here to the equalizer and change the equalizer from flat to voice enhance. That makes all the volumes sound better. Now let's take a listen. Doing a shape onto something. Good, and I can tell by looking that the volume of those two clips is now similar. I'm just going to clip off the end a little bit and I'm going to choose my next clip by selecting it and clicking the add. Now I have another clip and I need to make a transition. Now since these two clips are both actually demonstration clips, I'm not going to do the fade to black transition. I'm going to do one that sort of makes it look like there is no transition. And one that I have found that is good for that is cross dissolve. So I'm going to insert that. I'm going to trim this clip and then I'm just going to see where I'm at. All over everything. So let's take another look at how to do this. I'm happy with that. Uh, and now I have to change the volume on this clip because uh, I did it to the other clip. So I want them to sound alike. So I turn it up manually and change the equalizer. Oops. Yep, there we go. And now I'm back to my media. And I'm going to go through the same process of adding the transitions and trimming the clips and adjusting the volume. Once my video is completed to my satisfaction, complete with transitions and titles and everything else that I want to be in there, the final thing that I need to do is hit this little button at the top. And when I do that, it's going to ask me where I want to put this. And I want to put this into my iMovie theater. And when I do that, it packages it up in such a way that it is ready for me to put it elsewhere. I can move it to my desktop after this, and I can put it on YouTube after this, or I can send it to my Google Drive. So Once the packaging is complete, and it looks like this, and the progress bar has disappeared, I will just click on this and drag it to my desktop and it appears right over there. From this point I am able to take this and load it different places like YouTube. So here I have my YouTube page. I just click upload. It opens up a box right here where I can just grab my video to that area and it will upload. Right here is the progress bar. Depending on how long the video is, it will take longer or shorter. 
while I'm here in this screen, I waiting for the upload, I can take a moment and I can type in a description. If I want there to be a description with my video, I can add some tags. Perhaps I would tag Mrs. Donaldson's class or third grade or whoever is supposed to be watching this. I also, over here in this uh, tab, I can pick public. I can make it unlisted or I can make it private. This way, only the students who have the who have access to the QR code would be able to watch it, or perhaps you want their parents to be able to watch it too. I usually make mine public uh, for that reason, so that if I put it on my Facebook page, parents can go and see what their child is doing and learning and seeing in class. Now here it is, the the uh, upload has finished and now it's going through a processing phase. When it gets to the end of this processing phase, I will click publish and it will go live on YouTube. Or I can load it to my Google Drive. If you're not comfortable with your students accessing YouTube, Google Drive is another way that you can load this for public access. So in my Google Drive, I am going to create something new. I'm going to file upload, I'm going to find my file, choose it for uploading, and then of course I'll have to wait for it to complete. Once my video has completed the upload into Google Drive, it will appear like this. I can see the video, I can see an actual image from my video, that's how I tell when it's ready. Um, and then I need to make this public. I don't want to just share this with people, although I can do that. To make this linkable with a QR code, I need to put it out in the public web. And so to do that, I am going to come up here to this icon that has the little plus sign, and I'm going to click that. And it's going to ask me if I want people, and I don't want people, I want everyone. So I'm going to click on Advanced, and right now it is private, only I can access it. I want to change that and I'm going to click public on the web and then I'm going to save. Now it is public on the web and here is even a link. I am going to copy that link so that I can make it into a QR code on one of my favorite websites, qrstuff.com where I will just paste that address right in that box, press return, and it gives me a QR code that I can just capture and copy and paste onto whatever document I want to give to my kids. I can make it a Word document and print it out. I can make little slips with my QR code on there. Um, however you share this with your students is, of course, up to you. And there you have just a very basic overview of the process that I go through when I create the movies that I use in my classroom. Now, there are about as many correct ways of making videos as there are videos. So I've just showed you my way, and hopefully this gives you a glimpse into what is possible. Um, hopefully, if it seemed scary or intimidating to create videos before, Maybe now through my bumbling and forgetting words and what things are called, maybe you can realize that it's really not that big a deal. You just have to dive in and get started. So happy movie making.